If you like this video, you can find this and many more at sketchy.com. It's time for Necks of Nickel. And here's your host, Tim the Tortoise. Woohoo! Yeah! All right, team! Let's get necky with it! Today we're gonna learn the Master Dance to work out that neat muscle nestled in the neck, the sternocleidomastoid. Let's go! And I'm sure you know the sternocleidomastoid, also called the SCM, is a paired muscle located superficially in the neck. Clyde, our stern mastodon, demonstrates the insertion and origin points for the muscle. But don't think too hard about it, because they're right in the name. Sterno for sternum, clido for clavicle, making up the two origins, and they both come together to insert onto the mastoid process of the temporal bone. Put them together and what do you get? Sterno, clido, mastoid. It's innervated by the accessory nerve, or cranial nerve 11. So Clyde is modeling his fabulous Viking helmet accessory necklace to remind you of the accessory nerve sketch. Now, let's get on with the dance, shall we? Clyde and his two pals are going to dance it out, so those of you at home, try it out yourselves. Ready? Turn to the right, look down at your pants. Flex to the left, it's the master dance. Let's break this down a bit, shall we? First is turn to the right. When the left sternocleidomastoid is contracted, the head turns to the right. We've shown that it's the left side that's active here with that golden activated looking tusk. Note that this turning away is not because of the nerve crossing midline or anything like that. It's because of the way the muscle works. When contracted, the SEM pulls the mastoid process medially, turning the head away from the side of the muscle that's acting. Or put another way, it turns the head towards the contralateral side. Next is look down at your pants. When both sternocleidomastoids work together, so both tusks are gold, they flex the neck forward, so you can make sure you got that zipper zipped all the way up. And last, it's flex to the left. Again, using the left accessory nerve and left SEM with that left golden tusk in our example, the SEM laterally flexes the neck to the same side, or ipsilateral, of the muscle that's acting. Okay, all together now. <laughs> Wait, I wanna try it too. Turn to the right, look down at your pants. Flex to the left, it's the master day. Oh my god. Ah, think I got stuck. Anyone know any spinal alignment techniques? Or at least know a good chiropractor? I think I got a crick in my neck. Pathological prolonged contraction of the sternocleidomastoid can occur in a condition called torticollis, one of the typical patterns of focal dystonic reactions. We're not going to get into the causes or details of torticollis or focal dystonia, but it's a hot buzzword. So, we've got this tortoise as the symbol for torticollis. Ooh, <laughs> this thing is really stuck. <sighs> Having a bit of a hard time breathing. <sighs> the sternocleidomastoid is also one of the several accessory muscles of inspiration, which is important if the diaphragm loses function for some reason. It's okay, I've got a carrot, they're healthy, right? Healthy things always make things better. Like my mom used to say, a carrot a day keeps the vet away, but it can't reach my mouth. Finally, the sternocleidomastoid is a useful landmark for the carotid artery, which can be found along its medial edge. And that's where we'll leave it for the sketch. All together now. Turn to the right. Look down at your pants. Flex to the left. Do the master dance. Turn to the right, look down at your pants, flex to the left, it's the master dance. If you like this video, we have hundreds more at sketchy.com.